what's going on? Good afternoon, my favorite, and welcome to yet another fresh episode of Teenagers on a Mission right here on SABC One. Me as this to on my to each and every um, Thursday and Friday, we bring you all the latest updates and innovations of his intelligence and online clubbing that you guys need to know. Yeah, we yes, and I'm Sanjay. Specifically, we're going to be learning about cheetahs, the fastest land animals. So it's going to come on about how they're genetically bred, yeah. as well as how they are becoming an endangered species. Yes, and as my favorite, to go to these species are actually endangered. I'm trying to say something about about the science and technology and all the innovations that are saving Lelo and Nezi. We're going to be visiting. I'm a cheetah. Spin one of those guys like Anga Ganani, Akichimanga Jani. What do they eat? It's not wasting any time. Let's get it. <laughs> Shema fela re le tswaretse mo le nane home la ka je ko la TMZ. Ro kopana e bile ro spenda nako le a cheetah e lo lanko and fun deck cheetah center e lo go thaba e ka le hona mo mo Africa borra ka 1971. Ritu ta ka the unique beast or hunt le ntlo hona jang ho mata ka le belo le fetang la batho ka ho fela mo le fatsela rona reaching speeds of 120 kilometers per hour. Re botla wona re boka mo sa ba di cheetahs ha ntlentle bo ya ka and possibly di pofolo tse ding tlo re di shabane di extinction lo ha ntlentle re khona jang ho etsa genetic breeding e tlo khona ngo evolve mo boka mo song barone knowledge is power and a mo mo t o m z re batla le fa empowerment ka re le fa knowledge mpa he what is having knowledge if it is not shared so let us start sharing ho ba rona we love hearing from you We've come to our favorite part of the show, but where we interact with you guys on our social media pages. Sinbuzi question is one of those guys like, what are your thoughts on all the questions in Sinbuzi? And I'm going to question it, Tambagan Jena. What is the fastest animal in Africa? We've got a few comments coming in. Kalai Pumogu corrupts JB. Ati, a cheetah, a blessbok, springbok, a wildebeest, a lion, ostrich, and a rabbit. And yeah, Pumogu Patukolo, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ati, a cheetah. And then the last one from our favorite number one TOMZ fan, Usanto Atiana, a man who forgets his phone at home unlocked. <laughs> That's a funny one. Keep those comments coming in. Bafet and Kumbu on Facebook, see TOMZ, and on Twitter, see Tom's underscore. SABC underscore one. Right about now, Asam Sabon looks as scale of one. But come on, check this out. I'm trying to refer to CPE and see touch down at Victoria High School. Screaming on my cheetahs, and right next to me is a young, beautiful lady. We're going to ask a few questions and find out whether she has an idea what we're talking about. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm great. What's your name? Paige. Hey, Paige, what grade are you doing? Grade 11. Okay, Paige, I want to know have you ever heard a cheetah roar? Unfortunately not. Mm, no, no, I haven't. Have you ever heard a cheetah roar? No. Cheetahs don't roar? No. Okay, cool. So I want to know from you, why do cheetahs actually hunt alone? Um, well, in my personal opinion, I think it's because they, they have their eye on the prey. Yeah. And when the one, okay, they, they're not afraid to share. Mm -hmm. So the one will go after whatever the prey might be, yeah. and they hunt it down by themselves, and the rest will feed. I think they're more confident in themselves. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. So what's faster between a cheetah and a Ferrari? A cheetah. <laughs> Maybe, but I think the, the, the Ferrari is a bit faster. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I want to know from you, right? Do you know what animal breeding is? Animal breeding? Um, so basically, I think it's when they are placed in a captivity together and not forced to breed, but they have a better opportunity. It's when they put uh, two animals, um, a female and a male, in a certain area so that they can reproduce more, more um, pubs, cubs. With less than 7,000 cheetahs as Sheikh Leo up in Africa, it's very important for Abandu to be these wild animals. That all starts with more information. Let's go learn more about cheetahs. The Anne van Dijk Cheetah Center in Kalemo, Africa, Bora, Ka 1971 Ki a Cheetah Conservation Project. Center is a performed an important role in the preservation project of the cheetah. It will longer have a Kalemo breed of the cheetahs to fit 800 monarchy. Now, the cheetah cubs say 250 Bakale who did rule a cater to be the wild cheetahs over the past 40 years. Various conservation projects have been tailored by Kalemo Sibitakazona since the center was in its inception, including including the successful African Wild Dog Conservation Program. Hello, how are you doing? Good, and you? I am great. What's your name? Sana, and yours? My name is Caddy. <laughs> so where are you from, Sana? I'm from Cape Dan, Durban. Okay, cool. Awesome. So tell me, what's going on here? What's the project all about? So basically, do you know what a catheter is? 
No. So a catheter is basically a tube that's inserted into the human body that has many useful functions. Okay. For example, an uh, intravenous catheter, which is inserted into your veins. Mm -hmm. Now, this is really useful for patients with chronic illnesses, such as cancer. Okay. Now, a person with cancer has to get chemotherapy rather regularly. So instead of being poked each time, the person can use a catheter to receive the treatment, take blood, and all these necessary things. Okay. This is a crazy innovation. So tell me about the rhesus process. How long did it actually take you to get everything done and understand everything and find out that there's a lot of things that actually go in all these catheters? Well, I've been doing this project for around two years now. So basically, at the beginning, it was finding about, out about this antimicrobial blue light, making sure it was safe for the body tissues, yeah. finding out about all these different types of catheters and these yeah. catheter-related infections, and how I could actually form a biofilm inside the lab mm -hmm. instead of using an actual one. Yeah. So I did a lot of research there in that part. Okay, and how do you think there's like a crazy impact to society when it comes to this innovation? Yes, because the biggest problem is these catheter-related infections, they're common and catheters cannot be done without. Yeah. And the doctors, they take these risks, even though they know that there is a high risk of them being infected, they take that chance they because yeah, yeah. Mm. that is how important catheters are. Mm. And currently, the only ways of treating these are by removing it. So I think this would be really helpful. Okay, cool. So what are you, how are you planning on actually initiating this innovation and telling doctors, don't you think like it's going to be difficult because a lot of companies are going to lose money? <laughs> well, it will be difficult, but I have my prototype. So basically what I want to do is come up with a final prototype where I'm happy with, where I can change the intensity of the light. Yeah. And after that, maybe I can approach doctors yeah. or any companies that will be willing to invest. Awesome. So for somebody at home who's watching the show and they've seen a problem somewhere and they actually want to initiate their problem and start their innovation and to, to make the world a better place, what advice would you give them? Well, just keep trying. You can't get it right on the first time. Yeah. So you just like, when I know when I started off with this, I was started off with ultraviolet light and that obviously harms tissues. So anyone out there, just keep trying and you'll get it right. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. All the best for the future. Here's high five. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> cheetahs have evolved along with the golden cats, that's one of the lions, tigers, and leopards. The oldest fossils, yeah, the cheetahs, by the way, North America. Cheetahs, don't have to go by the way, by Asia, Africa, Europe, and North America. We've been at the end of the last ice age. It's a thing, the limit is 10,000. We've been having massive climatic changes in the world. The powerful thing is, if you're ready, you're all cheetahs alive today appear to be closely related as identical twins. The Sumerians take about what people know about the little tamer cheetahs, but the Egyptians here never is rappel. Marco Polo, he must what people all know the cheetahs or honor the Torah as pets. From 1555 to 1600 AD, Akbar the Great came to all the Nara that the cheetahs are hollow. Will I keep the cheetahs? They 9,000 and tried to breed them, but he only got one litter that was produced. So we must get down to the root of it. Mm -hmm. What is an ecosystem? Mm -hmm. So Papeto, an ecosystem is a community of living and non-living organisms. Where Papeto, they act together as units through biological physical and chemical processes. Hi, Professor Kade. Hi, Kibafi. It's also cheetahs are known to be living in grasslands mm -hmm. and benefit the ecosystem by hunting down on animals just to keep the population balance going, you know, mm -hmm. levels in China. Mm -hmm. And when possible, they hunt on the weakest and slowest of several species of animals. Yes. With that being said, we're going to take a shot at break. When we come back, still, TOMZ is on your screens. <laughs> All right, Kibafeto, just like that, says Mule on your screens. And I'm Gile Gile Futi, your teenagers on a mission. And I'm Sanjage. We are learning about the fastest land animal, mm -hmm. the cheetah. Yes, I'm going to say that, Kibafeto. Fun fact, your color is in Patelea, and it is. So I was going to say, my cheetahs, Kibafeto, are the fastest animals on land. I'm going to say, Gile, it speeds up with speed of 110 kilometers per hour. So, I'm going to say, highway, I'm going to say, speed. And it takes three seconds for a cheetah to actually be that fast. I'm going to say, speed, less. 
Minyaz Gutike, the cheetah is the only cat that cannot completely retract its claws. Yeah, so Minyaz Gutike, each cheetah has a tail, mm -hmm. which is like a very strong tail, and it's flat, and it's even like a rubber on a boat. So, by the way, it's even the tail to actually balance by jiga and control its tail. You know, because it's fast. All right, give up it to those that did you know always keep our minds running. Mm -hmm. You guys know that we love hearing from you guys, so please do keep it coming on our social media pages. Okay, so Fakashi expert EA2. Yeah, what about this woman? Yeah. Extraordinary. Yeah. She knows in Damaze cheetahs yeah. at the back of her hand. Yes, sir. Let's go. What's up? It's your boy C-A-D-D-Y, pronounced Kiari. Yet again on another mission. And this time of it, we all the way at Brit City Touchdown at the Enfandek Cheetah Center. Now, again, of it, they breed cheetahs. Guti Ganjani Asas, we are about to find out. Without wasting any time, as Bonu Gutamshai, Skulumanoban. Let's go. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, and yourself? I'm wonderful. My name is Caddy, and I'm from Teenagers on a Mission. And I'm glad we're here to visit you guys to find out what exactly do you guys do here at the Anne Van Dijk Cheetah Center. Okay, my name is Marilyn, and the aim of the center is to breed cheetahs. Cheetahs are endangered, and we breed cheetahs in captivity. What exactly is breeding for somebody at home who doesn't understand what it is? Okay, well, basically, um, an endangered species means there's not enough. Uh, so we need to make more. Yes. And in order to do that, we need to then breed cheetahs. Mm -hmm. We looked at the natural behavior of cheetahs and followed that uh, females are solitary, males move in small groups called coalitions, yes. normally litter mates. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to breeding time, basically males will be brought to the females. And if the female is receptive to, to mating or to breeding, the, the male will be put in with her and 95 days later, hopefully you will have a litter of cubs. Process of genetic breeding, we have to do a lot of work. We have to do a complex work of innovative. Now, when one thinks of genetic breeding, it's basically involving changing the building blocks in the form of DNA. In this case, cheetah and hairy is a healthy animal. It's a natural environment. It's a natural environment. Okay, for somebody who's watching the show at home and thinking, wild animals are dangerous for humans, why is it so important for us to actually have centers like this and preserve our wildlife? Okay, that is something that a lot of people think of mm -hmm. and perceive. Yes. Um, that wild animals are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Wild animals generally don't like people. Mm -hmm. The only time that they become a danger is if you get into their personal space. Yes. So you just need to be aware of that and stay Keep your distance. If they sense that you're around, generally they're just going to run away. Yes. They don't want to be around you. Mm -hmm. And for people who are watching at home and they're in love with cheetahs and also want to get involved, how can they go about? Well, we've got two aspects. The first one being education. Mm -hmm. We have an education program that goes out to schools because a lot of children and people are not able to come and visit the centre, mm -hmm. um, especially in the rural areas, in the underprivileged areas, we need to get out to as many children as possible and teach them yes. about conservation and the ecosystem. Yes. And Yates is our ambassador that we take to schools, mm -hmm. so obviously we need to make sure that He's comfortable, he's not going to get a fright and run away. We are able to control him if he, in, in the event that he did get a fright. Mm -hmm. Hasn't ever happened, but this is why you see the leads. Yes. So he has a collar mm -hmm. with two leads on, mm -hmm. and he has a full body harness, yes. and always two handlers. Yes. 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 Okay, Kamala Mgukuku. I spoke to her last year. She came to and she put some art back. Yes. So we learned in school, we found the beauty and we began the nature conservation. And then Monday it's my practical year. Yeah. So that things are going to graduate. So. Talo fungu yian zalento le. Yeah, we tell them to make art. Yeah. So ukfi agamla, we send down their rights. We go babazong fundisa mo engazi ogni kinga ofuti. Yeah. So. 
Okay, so I'm to say that I'm going 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 to so go by leg you go see swa conzeve as in Ugwa Tina Conezo was Kubela Pambili. Yeah. And now last in a breeding program and the Lugut Amachit Anga Pel. Yeah. So Masas Bonu Gutayesha says I want to spin the Azala and the food. Yeah. Nien the Logan Zuangai. And if I'm with the Sakai Ubugale, I'm Jeruguti, Gin and Tabanga Yans in order to be in the same field. Funigi Bafunde Ini is a specific school of Kosa Bafunde Guso. No one be university in Kabangutina, nature conservation. Yeah, I was good here and they were legally no one by me. Got to only Munto passionate Nile, yeah, and put Munto Tandai. No good party, guys. Yes, old Tandy Lodley, old man in Jay. Cuckoo, thank you so much. You're amazing. Go and shine high five. Thank you. All the best for the future. Thank you. <laughs> Shop. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, what an amazing day by Peter and I'm trying to see Funda Ogning. Yes, and guys, sometimes this is, this is Sabai. We must educate ourselves. Because on the other side, isn't this a letter? If we don't take care of our cheaters, our future generation will not be able to witness all of the world that is now. Otherwise, Indwana, this is where we end our mission. Until next time, keep it fresh and keep it trending. We are running out of here. <laughs> Sounds my face with the science e yonke in dao and I'm sure so funaga bands about the science behind these majestic creatures. Yes, sir. and you know with technology constantly evolving, it's quite imperative to ensure sustainability. Yes, and that's exactly what we need in order to help these beautiful animals not be extinct in the future. Yes, because Londo is actually looking like it might just happen mm -hmm. if we don't look after them. Mm -hmm. So sin patalama did you know what to and was here? So see as good I'm a cheaters and I'm a black spots, right? Mm -hmm. So if Ferriabo is black spots and also their skin is black spots. So uboya lobo bumyama mukula gula ma black spots that are on this. Oh, skin. so if you're to shave the, the, the cheetah, it will still have black spots. Beautiful. <laughs> but he has a good idea that the actual dark spots, right? Starting mm -hmm. from the corners yeah. of their eyes mm -hmm. all the way down to the outside of their mouths, is actually there to help cheetahs from the sun's glare mm -hmm. of their hand during the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most definitely in Sasma Fate to in captivity, a cheetah can live up to 10 to 12 years. And if we see up in the wild, they can live to 20 years. Wow, beautiful stuff. All right, Dingo Buntu, Gukedi Lona, and this is Teenagers on a Mission. Right, check your SABC one of Zanthi for sure. I don't know, I'm just so excited today. Aren't you excited? Yeah, yeah, me too, actually. You know why I'm excited? Because I'm trying to first be all about cheetahs, Pundagabans, about these beautiful creatures and how they're genetically bred by birds in order to save them from extinction. Hi, okay, guys, let's put our knowledge to the test. Hey, Donna, you know what time it is? It's time for the TOMZ Game Quiz Show. And Donna, we're in the building. You know how it goes. Vagashela Bangan made to a girl and Donna, and then we play with them. It's going to who will reign supreme. And this time of it, we all the way at PE City Touchdown at Victoria High School. So, guys, this is how it works, right? So, you've got a buzzer in front of you, right? I'm going to ask you a question, and then I'm going to read multiple choice answers. And if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. The first team to press the buzzer gets to answer it. If you get the answer right, points to you. But if you get it wrong, then I give the other team a chance. And if they get it right, it's points to them. You got, got, got the rules? Okay, cool. Without wasting any time, let's play the Tom's Quiz Game Show. The first question is, what animal is the fastest on land? Is it A, is it a hippo? B, is it a cheetah? C, is it a dog? Or D, it's a lion? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Gents, you are the first, guys. So what's the answer? B. Definitely cheetahs. Well done to the boys. <laughs> Second question is, which features does a cheetah have on its body? Is it A, it is covered in fur, B, it has a long tail, it's C, it is covered with black spots, or D, all of the above? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Guys, you're on a roll, jeez. Okay, what's the answer? Are you sure? Yeah. D is definitely the correct answer. Give it up for the boys. Scott Bot said to Samba Ranjay and Abafir to zero points for the girls and two points for the chance. We're moving on to our third question, and the third question is Are cheetahs part of the cat family? Is this true or false? <laughs> chance, ah, girls, come on. Girls, what's going on? Guys, is this true or false? True. True indeed. Give it up for the chance. 
And moving on to our fourth question. Do cheetah cubs drink milk? Is this true or false? Okay, ladies, there we go. Is this true or false? It's true. Are you 100% sure that this is true? Yeah. Definitely true. Get up for the girls. <laughs> Moving on to our fifth question, which is the last question, guys. Do cheetahs eat grass? Is this true or false? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Girls? Uh, um, that's false. Definitely false. Give it up for the girls. Cool, scoreboard said to some Jane number appeals to the girls are on two points and the gents are on three points. You know what that means, right? Let's give it up for the gents for winning this round! Cooley Channel of Fancy, thank you so much, Lala Makaya, for playing with us. All you need to do is catch it on social media, but fail to on Facebook, see Tom's, on Twitter, see Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Right about now, we're gonna say goodbye, keep it fresh, and keep it trending. Oh, Fancy, the TOMZ quiz is so much fun and entertaining. Right now, Asambe Sabuanaguti, what does the future hold when it comes to the big furry creatures? Cover this. Breeding programs here can tell you about initiates like the endangered species telling things that in Kamara will fail. But the results are not only beneficial for the cheetahs, but for the other endangered species, the environment will not fail. Niti ko hore he ecosystem mar na hare ba tlo re e phele o tsantse re re thuse ka o ba le diverse species tsela nteng he that are less likely to be seriously damaged by human interaction natural disasters and climate changes species sessing this is intentionally a niche long rona o tsusa ka mara ecosystem ya rona long rona o tsusa he re bele ecosystem e leng healthy ba bo ka mo sengwe rona bo leng hore bo sustainable ka mara ecosystem mar le environment rona ke tshelo gore e tshwantse e etse ke rona batho ka hore re thusane ka o fela Hope you guys had a blast and learning more about cheetahs and sustainability as well as the environment. Yes, but first, and you have to for us to actually empower ourselves with knowledge about Leilwane Lees because if we don't take care of our natural resources in the future, we won't be able to see our cheetahs in the flesh. Otherwise, but first, in order to keep tabs on the show, it's pretty simple. Visit our website at www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. And we are live and kicking our social media pages. On Twitter, we are TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one. Go Facebook, yeah, we are simply Tom. Mm -hmm. Until next time, keep it fresh and keep it trending. We are out of here. TOMZ. But we're going to head first into an elephant tracking excursion of epic proportions. Ritutenakasante technology is at the heart of this important conservation process. But we're going to head first into an elephant tracking excursion of epic proportions. The TOMZ Game Show. We're going to talk about the TOMZ Game Show. We're going to talk about the TOMZ Game Show.